All right, now, y'all, I'm taking my time with this one because y'all been eating me up in the last few videos. Not really eating me up, but y'all been fussing at me because I have not shared this information. But the name of this location or this store is Triangle Party and Crafts. You see the sign? This is what their storefront looks like. The address is 3901 Capitol Boulevard, Raleigh, North Carolina. I believe the suite number is suite number 123. So I want to share some of the items in the store with you and give you the breakdown of some prices, let you guys see, you know, what you're getting for your money. I think the prices are pretty reasonable. So if you plan on coming to this location, let them know I sent you. Let them know you found out about it from my page and that I recommended you. Just, you know, y'all know my name is Thomas Ely Designs, Epitome of Excellence. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm just going to take you through a few. I'm going to take you through all of the store pretty much and just kind of talk you through what I'm seeing. So for my people who are not professional event designers or event planners and you love, you know, the party city items, the items you can get from Amazon that are like theme based. This is still a good store for you. If you're looking to buy gifts for people or for people, for children who like items that are like Spider-Man, Sonic, Mario, um... Baby Shark, you know, Coco Melon thing. If they like those items or if you have children who love those, this is a store for you. Um, as you can see, you see those Blues Clues cutouts. I could have definitely used those for the event that I had earlier this year um, for my kids' party package. Sometimes I do use the cutouts in the events um, party packages. You see, they got wrestling men. They got the Nautica items. I love that because for my oldest son's nursery, we did um, a Nautica themed nursery. And these items you can get from Hobby Lobby, but I think these are a better price point in this location. That's just my opinion. You may not think the same if you visit or if you shop around different locations, you know. Um, these buckets, I was pulling them out because I think they would be great for like a color party or like a Crayola theme party. You know how they do those um, paint buckets that have the paint spilling out of them? I think those would be great. Now, I'm showing these here because for my Rookie of the Year party that I just did not too long ago, these would have been great props if I didn't already have the props that I'd already purchased from the yard sale and some of the items that I already had in my inventory so and like these small vases and these um, little whatnots they would make great baby shower games so again if you are following me and you are not an event planner these items would be great that little uh, I think there was a baby boy sign I picked up it was only $11.99 if I'm not mistaken you can, you know, just kind of put your own event together if you want to save a few dollars. This bottle is $9.99 from what I can see. And this would be something I personally would use if I'm use, if I'm doing a baby shower. Somebody had requested, not from me, but from somebody else, a popping bottles thing for a baby. And I recommend it to get the big baby bottles, but you don't really find them like that. You have to order them offline or you can get the baby bottle piggy bank. We have them at Roses in our location. So she took those and spray painted them. I was looking at the It's a Boy sign because I will definitely be coming back to get that when we have our baby and putting it in the yard. I don't know. I'm old fashioned like that. You know how they used to put the blue bow on the, on the mailbox or on the front door. So I like stuff like that. I love their flowers, y'all. Hydrangeas, ponies, roses, flower walls, sunflowers. I love, and these little bushes right here with the little greenery mixed in, you can't beat that. I think it was $10.99 for each of these bushels. Now, y'all already know I have a lot of hydrangeas, so I'm really not on the market for hydrangeas, but we were just discussing, you know, 
the, the, the flowers that they have and that we really like. Y'all forgive my camera angles. I was trying to keep my boys in line from breaking stuff and talking to my wife and filming. <laughs> I love these right here. These remind me of the foam flowers that I would use to make bouquets um, or that I've used to make bouquets. And going down this aisle here, if you are a baker and you watch my channel, or if you, you know, like, you know, cooking items, they have those. I think these, um, yep, this one is $50, and that was a bigger one. I think the smaller one was $29. But yeah, if you're a baker and you like, you know, the chocolates and all of that good stuff, this is a store for you. These trees are only $39. I think on eFavor Mart, they are roughly $50, $60, maybe a little bit more. And then you got to keep in mind, you got to pay for your shipping too. You got all your baking needs, your boxes. Your, I just realized they got the small party boxes that I normally use at tables. Anyway, you see your little cookie cutouts, your... Um, baking needs like your spatulas, your piping bags, your piping tips, your containers for cookies if you package them. And I think those, uh, I hope, hopefully I get close up on it so y'all can see it. Oh, look at me talking to myself from the future in the past. Okay, I got close enough. How much was that? Was that $2? $2.99? <laughs> but yeah, that was a cupcake dish. So... I need to bag up off of my wife. Bag up, Thomas. She ain't going nowhere. But we were looking at the lanterns, and inside those bigger lanterns were smaller lanterns, and they were very heavy duty. And the price on that was like $119 for one. But like I said, it was multiple lanterns within it. This is us trying to. Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm taking myself too fast. These are napkin rings that you should see at the top that I'm picking up. They are beautiful. I think they were like $9.99 for four of them. No, $11.99 for four of them. And then at the bottom, you see the small bird cages and the um, the carriages. This is $20. The bird cages and the carriages. I was kind of like, you know, saying, oh, I could have used that for the princess and the frog thing. But, you know, nonetheless... Some of this stuff in this store is for rent. Not everything is for sale. I think most of your bigger ticket items up front, like the throne chairs and the pillar stands, are the items that you can rent. If you can get a little glimpse of that, there we go. That old baby sign I did asked how much it was. I think she said 120 or 150 but it's huge. And you can use that over and over again. You'll make your money back off of that. I'm definitely going to go back and get that. And I love the way they give you um, an example of what the flower wall looks like when they put it together. So that was a couple of, a few panels of their flowers um, or their flower walls they had put together. This is 124 for this stand. I think that's beautiful. That's a three-tier stand. It's gold out. I'm doing y'all a service now. Y'all were fussing so bad about these prices. See, it says some of the stuff, you know, you can rent it. Just kind of give you guys an overall look at like the centerpieces and the uh, faces. I love that you can put a good old candle in there. I've gotten out of using real flames because some places don't allow it. So I would get a LED candle that I can put in. That vase is only $60. I pay $80 a piece for my vases. Let me just say that. So when I need some more vases like that, I'm definitely coming back. This vase is $60 as well. It's very tall. Has to stand at least three, maybe four feet tall. And um, you can do your centerpieces within. And if you're making a centerpiece with that with that vase, you can get all of what you need for, for that at this location. You have to get you don't have to get the vase here and then go somewhere else. You can get it all here. These are some more cages that I love. I already have a couple of cages that I had purchased. Um maybe a year or two ago some more dessert stands for my people that do cakes or that offer treat stations for your events then you got your wood chips that you never used to confine like three or four years ago 
I used to hunt it down like a hound dog. And I couldn't find it or it was expensive. I got down, I got so desperate to a point where I thought I'd say I won't go outside and cut a tree down and make my own. Now you find them everywhere. <laughs> I purchased these for the Princess and the Frog theme um, event. I think I paid like uh, $8 each. Floating candles, pillar candles, regular candles. But again, remember, I'm not, I don't like to do flame candles like that unless I have leeway for the event location i love these because they have that pearl look oh let me show you the charges the charger that charger was 3.99 and i think the one i'm picking up which i love as well is 5.99 they're very expensive on amazon and you cannot beat being able to pick go in this store and pick up the charges and the items you need when i'm open y'all see how many charges i have stacked there when i'm open for more charger inventory i will definitely come here first you got your Eiffel Tower glasses. You have some more tray stands. And listen, even if you're not doing events and you like to glam your house out, I'm not a glammed out house person. I like a house where I can relax and get cozy. But if you like to glam your house out, come in here and get some of this stuff, man. You got these tall vases. I'm definitely on the market for two of these click glass vases. But y'all know me, I break a vase. So I've been trying to stay away from the glass vases. I did pick up one of these vases. I didn't get the apothecary vase. I don't need that because I don't really do the candy dishes. Um, and I think those were $30, I think. But this vase that I just picked up, I did purchase it. And you'll see me make a, a centerpiece with that in another video um, for my Winnie the Pooh theme baby shower. But I picked it up. I picked up the flowers and the vase. Look at my wife sitting there, y'all. <laughs> You got your Eiffel Towers. I think they come apart, and I think the price on that was $49. Oh, I'm doing bad with the prices. But I'm getting close, because I know I, nothing was like, whoa. I, I didn't see the thing that was like, dang, I can get that somewhere else for cheaper. Everything was like, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. This is where I got that little silver mirror frame from for the Princess and the Frog thing, baby shower, in the left bottom left corner sorry if i'm doing bad see my wife is picking up those flowers i'm using those for the winnie the pooh baby shower and like i said i am going to get that vase and i'm going to show you guys the um video of me just making that time lapse more hydrangeas i'm showing you the price is at 10.99 i just realized them roses are beautiful the red ones y'all see them then at the top, you got the flower walls that you can put together yourself. I ain't that far in the game yet. I can do it, but I ain't got that yet. When I get there, y'all will be there with me. We're going together. You got your greenery. I purchased those from Amazon for the Rick of the Year party, but I really could have gotten those runners from there. I just wanted to make sure they was long enough to cover eight-foot tables if I needed to use them on eight-foot tables in the future. You have serving utensils, and then on this aisle particularly, you have the table linen. Most of what I'm showing you was marked at $19.99 for table linen. 120 inch round, 108 inch round. You got your spandex six foot. Can't remember if I saw spandex eight foot, but all of that was marked at $19.99. And look at the variety of colors they have. Like, they have colors that I wouldn't even think that I could get. And that, like, I, that that green teal looking color, I would use that for, like, a mermaid thing. You got the hot pink and that bright royal blue. These um, kind of sequin looking fabrics are, it says metallic spandex, but those are for backdrop draping. As y'all know, I got a big inventory of backdrop draping. When I get some more space, I may start adding to it because I like that it is spandex because that spandex is wrinkle resistant. You don't have a, really an issue with wrinkles with that. You got plates. Um, like you can come in here and say, I'm going to do a party and get everything you need in this. It's a one-stop shop. You got your eating utensils, and I like the way they have it give you a variety. It's not just your regular 
regular gold, like you know, you see the gold, rose gold, and silver there. You get different styles of the gold, rose gold, and silver. And sometimes little, little statements like that can make a big um, change in your event. And then over here is the balloon wall. I need to try some of these balloons and I can give a review on them. So maybe I'll do that next time because I can just kind of put together a solid color garland or shoot, maybe I can just put together a garland with different colors because they have the 5 inch, the 36 inch, 18 inch, 12 inch. Got your fog machine and your uh, smoke machine. You have your letters. Um, Oh, that's what I was about to say. You got your 260s. So 260 balloons. I normally stick with white because I use it that for a base in my balloon garland. Again, you have your little trinkets that you can add to your events. You see the butterflies. I've done enough butterfly events, I feel like. The ostrich feathers I see. These can be bases to your floor centerpieces. And you have more feathers, more ostrich feathers more princess themed items or items that can add like an elegant touch. I was just thrown, blown away by the little slippers because like if you did a Cinderella theme event, you can use those. But yeah, this is just about it. Um, Again, I'll be coming back to this location. This is about 35 to 40 minutes away from where I live. And... Again, if you visit this location, make sure you tell them I sent you. A lot of these items you guys see and you ask me for links are um, in other events that I've done are um, from Amazon. But because I'm close enough to this location, I would rather just come here. But again, if you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload my videos. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.